Welcome to this lab. In this lab, we will be using the get point function. The objective of our method is to prompt the user with uh, two points, pick the start point and the end point, and then out of those uh, two points, we're going to draw a line. So I have created here a method called create line using get point and also started all these uh, variables the document and the database as well as the editor now let's continue completing the code so first we will prompt the user to to click the starting point so as what we've learned before we use the the prompt but this time around we are not using the prompt string options but instead we are going to use the prompt point options okay so let's just call that as ppo equals new prompt po point options enter or pick start starting point next there is an equivalent of a prompt string result in prompt point options it's called the prompt point result Okay, let's call this as PPR and then now we can use the get point function. It's coming from the editor. Get point. Then the parameter is the prompt point options, PPO. This one here. Okay. Next, we can now store the value into a variable, but the data type is a point uh, 3D. So let's call this as start point equals PPR that value. So whatever the user picks here, then it will be stored in our prompt point result. And now we will retrieve the value and assign accordingly with the correct data type okay next we are going to prompt for the endpoint and we will use the the first point starting point as the as the base point so that there is a guide or some kind of rubber band effect so we can still use this same I mean the same variable here so ppo equals new prompt point options then pick end point but this time we will be using the property called use base point equals true and also ppo that base point equals the starting point so basically we will be using this uh, first point that we have here as the base point okay next we need to store the results again into our PPR or uh, prompt point result edt that get point ppo next we need to store the value into the variable called uh, endpoint equals ppr that value so now we have the start point and we have the end point 
So before we draw a line, we have to make sure that those are valid points. So let's just do here a validation. If start point is null, for example, if there's nothing picked or entered, or end point equals null, then there's no need to continue. You can just write a message to the user. Let's just say invalid point and then we return. That's it. No need to continue the process. Otherwise, we can now start the transaction. So, using the using construct to start the transaction equals db the transaction manager that start transaction so since we are draw uh, drawing a line we need to get the remember the block table so block uh, table let's call this as bt equals a trans that get object it's coming from the database and block table id open mode that for read as block table also we need to get the block table record so it's coming from the transactions as well get object bt and the block table record that model space and that should be open mode that for writing for write as block table record all right now we can construct the line object based on the two points above so line ln equals new line and specify the points we have the start point and the end point then just uh, use the set database defaults and now we can add this line into our block table record basically add the line to the drawing so btr dot dot append entity append the line object and then add into the transaction true and then of course we don't have to forget the transaction to commit it all right so this is our code let's just quickly review it we created all our variables here then we prompted for the first point using the prompt point options and the prompt point results to retrieve the results this is uh, using the get point from the editor then we we prompt for the end point using the same variable but this time is specifying to use it as a base point so that we have a, a guide and then we validated if the start point or the end point has valid values otherwise we just exit the program and write a message in invalid point and then if all is well then we started the transaction open up the block table for reading open up the block table record for writing then write our or add our line object okay so let us save our code
let's do a rebuild again Okay, rebuild successful. Let us open AutoCAD. Okay, now let us load our plugin. So now we should have the create line using get point. Let's give it a try. So pick starting point somewhere here and see the rubber band and here. There you go. That's our line. All right. So give it a try and see how it goes. So this is our code, do some tweaking on this one and load and try again. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.